The plan to improve safety at Denver Public Schools called for armed police and more mental health professionals in schools following the East High shooting. Well, the police officers are there now, but the district has not hired any additional therapists or psychologists. DPS tells our Mark Salinger, no one wants the job this close to the end of the school year. Two shootings in less than two months at East High School brought the promise of quick change. We will have two armed officers here at East until the end of the school year. The school resource officer, Superintendent Alex Marrero, promised soon arrived at East and high schools around the district. But there was more to the plan that hasn't panned out. The caveat was that we're not only bringing cops back, but that we're going to add mental health professionals. School Board Vice President Aonte Anderson led the push to take school resource officers out of the classroom in 2020. On March 23rd of this year, he and the rest of the Board of Education signed this memo directing the superintendent to bring armed police officers back to schools. It also asked that mental health professionals come with them. A month later, and with only a month left in school, the psychologists and therapists have not arrived. If you had known that school resource officers would be brought in, but mental health professionals would not, would you still have supported the memo? No. I would not have, and, I w and it's because our mental health professionals are key. We need to be able to make sure that we have safety alongside mental health professionals. Anderson and Board President Sochi Gaitan don't agree on much, but today they both say it's not the district's fault that mental health professionals haven't been hired. Gaitan tells us the district can't even fill its regularly allotted mental health positions, as well as the additional positions requested by the board. She places the blame on a limited pool of candidates. The district is now offering a $2,000 signing bonus to help fill the jobs. Why do you think that is? You know, I think that one of the issues is uh, that Denver is an unaffordable place to live. They can't uh, work and live in the same city that, uh, that we're asking them to be a part of. Anderson also says the mayor's office has not been willing to provide funding for additional mental health positions. Mayor's office, Mayor Hancock's office says they're actively trying to get that funding and the allegations from Anderson are quote untrue and the latest in a string of falsehoods by Director Anderson. Kyle, we asked DPS if anyone has even applied for these positions. Yeah. They were not able to tell us. I mean, if you are a mental health professional in the state of Colorado right now, I mean, this is like a Jerry Maguire moment for you. I mean, they show, show there you are no way. shortage of jobs. Yeah, we've seen this before. Think of Aurora Police, for example. They were trying to hire people for their crisis response team. They weren't able to do that for months. Think of the state hospitals for mental health. Yep. They need nurses and doctors as well there. This is just the latest in a string of uh, more mental health professionals that are needed pretty much everywhere. Yeah. I. It's not surprising we're in this situation. The question is, why was the promise made in the first place if there's no ability? If it's unattainable. Yeah. All right, Mark, thank you.